Well, guys. I could be wrong, but I think she's starting to look a little bit like a boat. So, uh, I made the, I cut the sides out, and I cut the floor out, which I was talking about in my previous video. So here's the floor. It's uh, 44 inches wide at the back, and 30 inches wide at the front, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> And I've got, uh, I had, uh, I had it lay in level there yesterday when, or from my previous video, I had the sheets lay in level. And, uh, last night and today I've had it sitting like this. So, I propped this end up higher, this would be the front, and I put some weight there ahead of the midsection. So, hopefully I'm going to get that curve right, where I, right about where I need it. So I took one of these sides here. Well, it's kind of it's all screwed together now. Well, kind of. And uh the rear, this is the rear. The the bottom is 2 inches narrower than the top. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So see that line that that would have been 4 inches. I ended up going with 2 inches, so it tapers in 2 inches at the bottom on both sides and uh, before I screwed that together I had taken one of the sides and I had uh, screwed the one by two strapping to the edge like you see here I'd screwed this to the edge but I hadn't screwed the back onto it yet so I just had the side with a flat edge on the bottom and I carried that piece over there and uh, when I lined it up here the the curve seemed to line up nicely even though I'm just uh, I've just got some weight sitting on it and I never made any calculations or measurements I'm just trying to get some little bit of a bow to it overnight because we get uh, any moisture or or dew we get overnight and you're supposed to steam these like if you're trying to twist wood you're supposed to steam it so I'm not steaming it and uh, the same with these I didn't steam them either I just I just screwed it and clamped it where it needed to go and bent it gradually not too sharp like if if you bend the wood to, and you hear snapping and cracking then you're bending it too sharp or you need to steam it one or the other so I just bent it gradually and uh, that contour seems to match pretty nicely to that floorboard there. So anyway, I'm starting to throw it together like uh, the sides and the back piece here. I'm starting to screw them together. And uh, in the corners, in the corners here, I used a 2x2. Two two, which I took a 2x4 and ripped it in half so I ended up with these these are a little more sturdy than these and I'm gonna use them in all four corners <clears throat> and I might even uh, I might even double up on this this one by two I might put another one on top of it and laminate them for strength I don't know yet depends on the weight and the strengths we'll see how we'll see how it goes and uh, next, next is either going to be the nose or the floor. But I'm going to have to put either a 1x2 or a 2x2 two two across here. Probably a 2x2 two two across the back here. Like this. Or like that. So anyway, i got to put a 2x2 two two across here and tie it all in together somehow and then uh, then I'll have a nice framework all the way around for my floor to sit onto 
and when I started putting it together, it, it was the other way around, like it was right side up. And then I realized if it's right side up, I'm never going to get the floor on it, and then I'm going to have to flip it over. And if I flip it over without the floor, it might be twisty, like because the, the floor ties it, ties it in, uh, makes it more, makes it square, and makes it so the corners don't move. Right now, the corners would move because they're, they're, they're not tied in. They're just screwed together there, but uh, wood is flexible. So uh, if I took this end here and lift it up. I can move it out or in or whatever, and that's not good. So I measured the front. It's going to be about 30 inches wide, which is a little bit less than three feet, but that's okay. Six inches shy of three feet, and the back is a little bit wider. I get my measuring tape here. is uh, just a hair under 44 inches, 43 and 3 quarters. That's going to be uh, close enough. I might have to s sand down the edges a little bit, but anyway, she's looking so far so good. So, um... We need some framework here in the front, or a nose piece or something, and uh, one in the back. We should have some crossers in the middle, but uh, I'm just put. I'm just doing this as I go. I don't really have plans. I've looked at a couple of uh, quick PDF plans online, and I drew a couple of plans up myself, and I just sort of settled on this idea where I had already built one of these before but I had built one with uh, square square edges 45 degree angles and nothing round so this boat I decided to make it a little more round because the last one I put a trolling motor on it and it would plow through the water and it, it was not very fast and uh, yeah it was kind of a big shoebox so uh, where are you going buddy? What's up today, buddy? So this one's going to be a little more round, a little more narrow in the front, a little more taper, uh, a little more aerodynamic and contoured, and slightly different than my last one. <clears throat> so anyway, this is uh, part two. This is the second step, or... Uh, my second video in this series and I'm not done yet which means there's gonna be a part three so if you uh, want to see how I put this together or if you want to see the boat when it's done watch out for uh, part three and if you want to see uh, part one check out part one and if you're not a subscriber click on the subscribe button and check out my uh, DIY and how-to videos and whatnot. Now, I shouldn't say how-to videos because uh, this is not something... Uh, I don't even know how to do it, basically. I'm just doing it as one step at a time as I go. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is my DIY John boat. And I'm still working on it here on day two and uh, the sides if you're if you didn't see part one the sides are 16 inches tall and uh, the floor is eight feet long and it's 44 inches wide at the back 30 inches wide at the front and I got a slight slight taper and bow to the front so yeah that's it for today guys, or that's it for this video. If I get any more done today, I will make another video. Have a good day and uh, see you next time.